Hello, so I wanted to do the proper test now using my Polish ML mask, I think it was called, the one that was Mike Lima, basically like the Polish GP4, that's not quite a GP4, and I thought I'd do something in this video that might be a bit stupid, but I kind of want to test it. I'm going to use my probably most modern EO14 filter with it, um, and I've not got any particulate things in there, so I said if you're doing this yourself I wouldn't recommend this, but I want to really see if this filter works without the stupid breathing resistance of using a um, You know p3 pad somewhere in the mask assembly, so EO14 filters Were the standard filter of the communist militaries for a very long time I've Seen lots of conflicting asbestos reports on them, but I've never actually seen a published one I mean, I imagine there could be asbestos in there, but like with all of these filters, um, the asbestos section, if it's there, will be in the particulate heap a bit at the very bottom of the filter. I've got in the bag so you can't see it there. Um, and then, basically, I think normally you have the particulate section either go up the sides or in the very bottom, then the majority bulk of the filter is charcoal. And then you'll have basically a cotton layer to keep that in. Um, and then, obviously, you have the hose that goes to the mask. So. As said, probably not the smartest idea to breathe through one of these filters, as I've said before. What you really should do is get the modernised Polish filters or the modern Russian filters that, you know, will fit these masks. Like I said, the FP5 filters are very good, just I'd personally go for those, because I've yet to find a mask they don't fit on. However, for this video, I want to do it with the big filter for some reason. Call me an idiot, yeah, because I've warned everybody not to do this, but... So, what I'm going to do is do the standard air freshener test but we will see what happens and I'm hoping this filter still works because there's so much charcoal in these old um, canister filters that um, you know I imagine they would still work because it would take a long time for all that charcoal to absorb everything so here goes nothing call me an idiot um, let's do it right so as you can hopefully see the mask is screwed into the EO14 filter in the satchel so let's do this so let me first get this on and get it tight because these masks are awkward to get on. Right, I think my face is mostly in for this, so can't easily press a second though with the filter in there. Right, let's do this. Getting a faint smell of vapour, but not sure if that's coming through the mask or the filter. Let me just try and tighten it a bit more. I can still smell the vapour, so I think this old EO14 filter's had it. Let me quickly switch to another EO14 filter, then we'll see what happens. Right, the smell of air freshener is very strong at the moment. There's another EO14. This one says, um... AP something on it. I can't quite make out the date with, um... Uh, nice gloss. Looks all good to me, so uh, let's quickly start using it. Smells immediately gone. There might be a slight pressure leak out the chin, but it did work when I tested it with banana oil the other day. So there we go, connected to the EO14 filter. Let's put that back in its circle. I've done that in the wrong section because the EO14 filters go on the side of the stilt. There we go. Is the wooden stilts keep it from um, pushing against the bottom and blocking the hole. So, EO14 is in the bag. Let me seal the bag up. So, 
So as you can see, there's that in the bag. Be wearing it. And this one, I'll give us a little fresh spray. If I put the uh, air freshener, there it is. Oops, something's falling off there. I think that was just the uh, you know, the lid. Yeah, this mask and the CO14 filter still work. So as long as obviously as I've just demonstrated, these EO14s, despite having so much charcoal in, like all old filters, are not guaranteed to work. Which is why if you want an actual filter for survival reasons, it's very important to buy filters that are actually in date. But yeah, no, the ML seems to be working absolutely fine. Obviously, this came with the much older Polish filter that looks like an EO14, but I'm obviously not going to use a filter from the 50s in a test like this for my health and the sake of a working filter. But, um, yeah, let's take the mask off here. Hmm, I can smell the air freshener quite strongly again. Thankfully not enough to make me cough horribly at the moment, but it's not nice to be trapped in a room with it. I'll open the window in a moment. I have been asked on these videos before, how do I clear the room while there's a window behind the curtains? I just open that. Um, but yeah, no, with the EO14 filter, the ML seems to work fine. As said though, I personally wouldn't recommend you breathe through an EO14 filter, especially for long periods of time or doing it often. Now and again, probably wouldn't hurt, especially if it doesn't seem to be leaking. But if you can get modern safe filters, just use those instead. Uh, there we go. So the Polish ML mask gets a big thumbs up from me, despite being an old mask. Well, this one's from 1969, I think, looking at the date stamp on it. But unlike the regular GP4 or GP4U, this actually works with my face, because the softer, more flexible rubber, when tightened, will make a good seal. So there you go. If you wanted to get a retro-looking mask, a GP4, GP4U or Polish ML is quite good. Uh, obviously no guarantee how well these things would work, but, um, you know, they're quite interesting for what they are. What I'm going to do quickly um, is just have a look at this hose with a microscope, because I've got a good microscope now for looking at things like this, um, just so I can confirm to you that it's not asbestos in here, or as best I can with a microscope. Sadly, I won't be able to film down the microscope to show you, but I can have a quick look and just tell you about that. Okay, here's my primitive test. I've got a Carson microscope, little pocket microscope that goes up to 120 times. So let's set it to the 120 mark, um, and then we'll focus it on a bit of this pipe. So here we go. I don't know if you can actually see me looking through that in the video, but... If I can get the focus right. Yeah, there we go. And that looks like regular good old sort of cottony fibre on this. As said, unfortunately, I imagine it would be impossible for me to navigate the camera to look down this while I look down it. But the weave of the fibre on this looks exactly like regular kind of cottony stuff, although I think it's stocking it. With the asbestos fibres, if you look at photos of what they look like under a microscope, they're kind of a bit more interesting looking than stuff like this. Hard to kind of say what I mean exactly, but again, that's quite hard to do without being on a flat surface. But the fibres in this do look very cottony, and they don't look particularly interesting. It looks like if you get any kind of regular clothes um, or jackets or anything like that. Uh, to demonstrate, here's a bit of flex tile. Like I said, it's a bit stupid me doing this because you won't be able to see it on the actual video what I'm looking at, but if I focus in on this like flex tile, although this is a composite, it looks like the exact same kind of fibres that I can see with this, so 
what I'm getting at, obviously, is like I said, I don't think there's any way that you're going to be able to see that on there. No. But anyway, to my eye, they this the hose on this looks very much like a cotton or a nylon-y kind of thing. Um, not asbestos. If ever I get some asbestos, I might really try hard to get a picture down a microscope of it. Um, like an asbestos blanket section or something like that. I wouldn't mind getting that and just keeping it in a tub just to demonstrate what asbestos actually looks like. But yeah, this stuff does not look um, to me to be anywhere close to what asbestos has looked from from many of the pictures I've actually looked up on it. It looks like regular, just fibrous um, kind of cottony stuff. So yeah, for the people asking, is this stuff asbestos? As I said before, I'm pretty certain it's not looking at under a microscope. It doesn't seem to bear resemblance to photos of asbestos I've looked at, you know, of microscopic enhanced images of asbestos fibres. Can't say for guaranteed, but I'm pretty certain the Soviet and, you know, Warsaw Pact hoses with this stuff on were asbestos. I'm pretty sure they're like stocking it like a few nations used in World War II for the hoses, even the ones that used asbestos in the filter. So there you go.